Jack and Daxter, one of my all-time favorite games on the PS2, and one game that I have put a shit ton of hours into. Recently, while looking around on YouTube, I discovered the Jack Project and immediately thought, can you beat Jack and Daxter with only a mouse? Now, when I say I discovered the Jack Project, basically, I'm going to use Open Gall and I'm going to use Rewazda to set up the mouse controls and to run the game in what basically is a remastered version and the closest thing we're ever going to fucking get. So, my first mouse setup is very simple. Right click is going to be jump, left click is going to be move forward, up is going to be punch, down is going to be spin, and if I press in the mouse button, it's going to be the menu, just so I can track everything, because I do want to go for 100%. So, we start up a new game, Daxter takes a bath, and then we get set to Geyser Rock for some training. I do want to mention, you are going to see the mouse cursor sometimes on the screen, and that's just because this game doesn't lock the mouse into the screen, and I have three monitors, so it's all over the place the entire time I'm playing. Anyways, I grab the first and second parasol, and then I fall down here, and this shows the issue with this setup that I can't turn around because the camera is not going to allow me to go in the rocks to do it. So I just have to jump out and hope for the best that I don't get stuck. I then go ahead and open up the blue eco door and get the third power cell and the fourth power cell shortly after. We teleport back to Samus's house and then I immediately get stuck behind the portal because I can't turn around to actually get out of the door. So after drawing for a while, I had no option but to add a back to actually get out of the hut. Once I finally add the back, I can turn around but I start to shimmy my way around the portal because I still don't have a left or right. So you know how I just said I still don't have left or right? Uh, well, yeah, I have to add that now because I'm stuck in another hut and uh, I don't think back is going to get me out of this one. So I quickly add that and I get myself out of the hut. For some reason, I go to Sentinel Beach first, which I never fucking do. But once I actually come to my senses, I head back to the village and I help the farmer out with his cows. Once they're all corralled in the pen, I get the fifth power cell and I take a quick food break before going to the Forbidden Jungle. First thing I do in the Forbidden Jungle is go to the Eco Collector and grab some Blue Eco to open up this door. Once I grab the power cell, I grab some more Blue Eco to repair the bridge. And I also use that same Blue Eco to grab all the orbs in the water because I don't have a dive. And at the same time, I grab this power cell. I finally break the deflector on the blue eco collector and I start redirecting all the beams till I get to this one. We'll come back to redirecting the blue eco later, but let's go ahead and head inside the temple. The game once again takes over the camera and I fuck up this jump twice, but on the third time, I get over to it and grab the scout fly. Then when I get to the top of the temple, it's the same fucking issue. The game takes over the camera and I have to make side jumps or fucking time it perfectly to actually get to the top. So this 15 second section took me five minutes just because of the camera. But once I get the power cell up top, we head down into the temple and I activate all the blue eco vents around the world. And now it's time for the first boss fight. The first attempt went well. The second attempt was fucking bullshit. And by the third one, I actually got the strategy down to go from right to left and line myself up before actually jumping up to hit him. Once he goes down, I shoot myself up and get the last scout fly of the area, which gets me my last power cell. And then I redirect the last beam out of the area before I go talk to the fisherman. Now the way this works is you have to use the left and right to move the net. But but I had right and back on the same button, which every time I pressed it, it kept fucking up and I kept missing too many fish. Now, the second I took back off the second button, I caught all the fish that was needed and I got the power cell from the fisherman. I redirect the beam back to the village and then I had to go back to collect the six eggs that I'm missing. But once those are collected, we're finished with the forbidden jungle. I then have just enough eggs to go up to the oracle and get his two power cells. And then I go talk to the mayor about the power cell for the blue ego. Just before heading into Sentinel Beach, I collect the last scout fly of the village and get that power cell as well. I then grab the parasol at the end of the cove and I grab the parasol for clearing out the green eco collectors. I was trying to make this jump up to the scout fly so I didn't have to add a crouch but after I grabbed the parasol from the mini temple and activate the avalanche from the other one I decided it was time to add it. While I was adding crouch I decided to add triangle which is for binoculars and to get off of things like cannons. So with that added I can knock up the wood and reach the scout fly. I then launch myself up to the cannon and the bird goes. <laughs> Once again, I use the blue eco to collect all the eggs in the water because I still don't have a dive. And I also go ahead and collect the power cell from the bird and from the avalanche. I then make my way up to the flute food egg and drop it down to the bird watcher. Once it hatches, I go ahead and collect the last egg of the area and scout fly out of the area before we head off to Misty Island. Now, I'm not gonna lie, Misty Island kicked my fucking ass. First thing on Misty Island I was really fucking worried about was the muse because this thing is normally a pain in the fucking ass to get, but with these controls, I was expecting it to be goddamn impossible. To my surprise after going around the island with it one time I actually had a lot of hope that this 
could actually be done. Now the two only possible places this can be done is right here when it jumps up or right here when it jumps down to start the cycle over again. Again, to my surprise, after only three minutes of chasing it, I actually drop right on top of it and catch it. I mean, you can even see that I'm floating in the air when the cutscene ends. Again, I have spent hours on this part before and being able to do this in three minutes with these controls i was blown the fuck away and had so much confidence for the rest of the map but uh oh boy oh boy was i fucking wrong now before any of this starts note that i got on the zoomer at 206 206 all right that's when i fucking got on the thing now the issue comes when i try to make this turn to go get the power cell and to get the eggs on the end of this ramp for whatever reason, you can't accelerate, which is X, and you can't turn left at the same time with a mouse. I have no fucking idea why. And even trying to fucking switch to a different mouse to see if it was a hardware issue made it fucking worse. With the other mouse, I couldn't turn left or right at fucking all. This was the dumbest fucking issue I've ever had while recording any of these. And you can tell, I'm still fucking angry even a week and a half later while I'm actually recording this. After almost an hour of dealing with this shit, I just put left on the left click and just anytime I use the zoomer, I just change it to left click because I don't fucking know why it doesn't work. It should, it, it fucking should. It makes no fucking sense. But fuck it, I just wanted to get through it. Literally this part, this part almost made me just quit the entire run. Because that's how fucking annoyed I was. Now that the controls actually fucking work, I can easily grab the power cell off the jump. And I grab the power cell for killing all the lurkers. I then play some Donkey Kong for a bit and I'll take out both guards at the cannon. And use the cannon to take out the egg boxes in the arena. Now in hindsight, I should have left the cannon up so they can take out their own guys in the arena fight. But I did. I then jumped down to the arena and uh, the, the first try uh, did go well. <laughs> I got my ass completely fucking kicked and then i spawn somewhere else so we'll uh we'll deal with the arena later i then collect the power cell on this island and then i go back for round two round two went a lot fucking better and then i trip i'm a failure after all that hard work i'm sorry all my i'm sorry mom god i've been falling for a long time twice after that embarrassment i go ahead and pick up the power cell and i grab the last scout fly of the area as well and with those last eggs misty island is done and we can go to fire candy but before that i guess when the cutscene was loading uh it decided to crash the game so i quickly had to recollect all the eggs in misty island and now we can go to fire canyon nope we're not going fire canyon yet we got to finish up the village first so i talk with the mayor to trade the 90 precursor orbs i have the same conversation with the explorer and then i also have to deliver the muse to the artist and with these last eggs collected that's the first area 100%. Fire Canyon was actually pretty easy and the only reason I died so many times is because I didn't want to backtrack and have to collect more shit later. The only important thing here is that I discovered if I used two hands on the mouse it controlled a hell lot better and my hand could relax for a little bit because I was in a lot of pain at this point with only using a mouse. After a couple more tries I get to the end and grab the power cell and I only have to go back for a scout fly and a box of eggs that I missed. Let me in. Let me in. I open up the Blue Sage's portal and then I head down to the village to talk to the geologist and set up her mission. I then spend a lot of time trying to get this egg hatch open because you need to nail a roll jump twice or you can't get there in time with the blue ego you have. Once I get all the eggs, I go ahead and talk to the gambler to set up his race in Precursor Basin and with that, all the setup is done and we can actually start Precursor Basin now. Once again, I double hand the mouse and I start by corralling all the lightning moles in their hole and then I go out to the flying lurkers, taking one out and two out pretty easily. The first attempt of the race went fucking horrible. I got a 52 and nowhere near the fucking record. The second attempt went fucking great. I got a 43 and kicked the shit out of it. I then start the purple ring race and the first time I blew the fuck up on a dark eco box. The second time I got greedy and I grabbed the eggs and I thought I still had enough time to grab the ring but I didn't. And the third attempt I stopped fucking around and actually completed it with no issue. I then go ahead and finish off the third and fourth lurker and get their power cell. I do some quick gardening and then I fired again <laughs> and then I missed and then I fired and then I fired and I missed. I missed both times and then I fired and I missed. This went on for several hours and then I fired and then I missed. <laughs> I then collect the last of the eggs and I collect the last scout fly of the area, which again gets me another power cell. Now it's time for the blue ring race and I am surprised this only took me two tries. This before has taken me 
hours to fucking do. But after a rocky start and a rocky finish, I complete that shit in only two tries. And with that done, Precursor Basin is finished and I can head back to the Geologist for her two power cells and then go talk to the Oracle for his two power cells. I then talk to the Gambler about beating the race record, I get his power cell and then I head off to Lost Precursor City. Now the first and second room in Precursor City are just fucking useless, so I'm just gonna skip those. The third room actually has some more fucking meat. I first grab both time scout flies and then I head up top and grab the time power cell as well all first try. I then take a dunk in the dark eco and then I come back for the power cell in the middle. I then start lighting up all these platforms and then I make a really fucking questionable jump and reset everything when I fall in the water. Once I light up all the platforms again I make another risky jump but this time I actually make it and I grab the power cell. I then head down the first slide and this is just like fire canyon. I do die a lot but the only reason is I don't want to miss anything and have to come back later. I activated the chamber first try and then I head to the surface to grab the power cell. Once I get back down I start with the second slide and this this thing is a pain in the fucking ass. So this slide has the same issue as a zoomer that you can't turn left and jump at the same time and this slide really fucking needs that compared to the first one. So after a couple deaths and me being annoyed as fuck because of the same fucking issue, I just put on the same controls as the zoomer and then I get the power cell no problem. Once I do get the power cell it does activate the temper one sequence and at the very top I grab the last egg that was needed and the last power cell of the area. And I think for the first time ever I had the brilliant idea to just go down the first slide again and take the shortcut up. For some reason of all the times I've played this I've never thought of that until now. Once I'm back at the surface I talk to the warrior about fixing the bridge. I also get his power cell. I collect the last of the eggs and I collect the last scout flight of this area as well. Now Boggy Swamps is probably one of my least favorite areas in this game but looking back at the footage it also has the least amount of things to do. So I take out the first tether with no issue. After some swings I take out the second tether and then I launch myself to the only difficult part of this map. Now this is the same as the Misty Island Ambush, but the area is so much smaller and my turn radius is so bad, I easily get enclosed and with there being so many fucking enemies, I get killed so many fucking times. Now for the attempt that I actually got it, it was just complete fucking luck, because I took two damage immediately at the beginning, and then I just got extremely fucking lucky, one, that I didn't get hit again, and two, that the lurkers kept dropping Green Eco. Even after all that, I almost still fucked it up, but I was able to take out the last two rats get the power cell and get the fuck out. Once again I launch myself but this time over to the third tether I take it out and then I hop on the flute flute get all the eggs at the bottom and then jump up to the power cell up top. With the flute flute back home, I talk to the hillbilly about protecting the snacks so his pet can find his way back. Now defending the snacks is usually the hardest part of this map, but by being able to double hand the mouse and with such fine controls, I first tried it and got his power cell. With that behind us, I take out the last tether, I collect the last egg, and then we go talk to Kira about moving the rock. Now it's time to try the boss, and I'll be honest, at 6 hours into this and it being 2 in the morning, I was pretty fucking tired and my hand was in a lot of pain at this point. So I only only tried the boss three times he kicked my fucking ass and I said fuck it I'll deal with that shit tomorrow then about four hours later at six in the morning I still couldn't get this boss fight out of my head and I kept coming up with new strategies to beat him so I just said fuck it let's try this let's see if I can beat him this kind of goes to show how out of it I was when I first stopped because I didn't notice that if you stand here you can jump perfectly back and forth through the platforms with no issue because I thought I would have to do side jumps and if I had to do side jumps that would make this ten times harder now by discovering this spot this makes it a lot easier easier to dodge the boulders he launches at you. Once he's done launching the boulders, I can grab the blue ego he drops and I can go towards him to actually attack him. Now getting back on the platforms is the hardest part, mainly because you're running backwards and I'm trying to jump to the left, but at the same time that I jump, the camera swings to the right and knocks me off course a lot of times. Now I tried jumping directly in the middle, I tried jumping to the right one, but nothing worked. The best option I could see is jumping to the left and just hoping I can make it on there. And that was the strategy. Dodges boulders get up to him, attack him, hope I make the jump back, and just do that until he's down. After a lot of tries, I was finally able to make the second jump back. I dodged all his boulders, I got to him again, and I finally took him out. Now this took so much time. When I started, it was dark. It turned today, and it turned back to night by the time I was finished. Now you think that would be the last of this area, but the game threw in one more left jump that after dying like five times on it, I just jumped on the lava in front of me, took the invincibility frames, and walked directly forward. And that's it. After 40 
45 minutes, I finally get past this and it's time for the zoom area. And just like before, I do die a lot to minimize backtracking, but this is actually one of the only areas in the game that you can't get everything right away. So I just leave it unfinished, I go ahead and open up the Red Sage's portal, and we get started with this area. I'm going to put the Oracle of this area and get his two power cells to activate the gondola. Following that, I head up to Snowy Mountain, I start deactivating all the precursor blockers and taking out the miners that are mining for Dark Eco. I then head to the Snow Bunny infested cave and take them all out until I can reach the power cell. And uh, yes, that is their name. And yes, I had the same reaction as you did. I head through the trees to start the gauntlet to get to the yellow eco switch. Now at this point, I haven't mentioned the ice because it hasn't been a big issue. But with this gauntlet, it once again takes over your camera and then I need to do side jumps onto moving platforms off of ice five times. You can imagine this, this was bad, okay? A lot of the attempts was just me sliding off and just getting super unlucky with the timing and it got to the point where it was just blind luck that I fucking made it, where I was just running through the first one, jumping and hoping the platform was there. If it wasn't, I died. If it was, then I can go on to the next one. After the first jump, I then had to jump up to this ledge, but it's on a corner, so unless you're perfectly up against the edge you just face fuck the wall and then it just pushes you off to your death the third one seems like the most complicated one but i somehow first tried it every single time it makes no sense this is one of the most difficult ones and i never died on it now the fourth one the fourth one is fucking bad because once again it's on a corner so you have to do a side jump the very edge of it will push you off and you can't see the fucking platform. So it was just blind fucking luck. And after so many attempts and so many deaths that I finally got onto the platform and fucking first tried the fifth jump and completed this shit. This was definitely harder than the fucking boss fight. With the power cell collected, the yellow eco turns on and we can get the fuck out of this damn cave. The camera still wants to be a fucking cunt, so it drops me to my death twice, and then after I finally figure it out, I get up to the top, I take out the last miner, I take out the last precursor blocker, and I grab the power cell that was in ice. One more time for good measure, I then grab the flute flute, I grab the power cell at the end, and I lower the door for the fortress. Once I head inside, I grab all the eggs at the bottom first, I then spent the next 10 minutes either they're falling off the fucking platform, missing the button for the shortcut, or getting killed by the snow bunnies before I can finally get the fucking power cell and we're done with Snowy Mountain. When I got back down, the plan was to grab all four power cells from the miners at the same time, but my math was a little off so I can only grab three for now. After that, I head back to Mountain Pass to finish it off. Now getting all the eggs was easy enough, but getting the power cell was a bit more complicated. My first try, I didn't even make the fucking jump. The second try, I did make the jump, but I couldn't turn around and I just drove off. The third one, I finally made it, grabbed it, and we're done with Mountain Pass. Now it's time for my least favorite map in this game, Spider Cave. I start off by grabbing some yellow eco and heading back towards the entrance to get the secret power cell. I hail Mary a shot at the very end and it somehow actually hits the box and I get the power cell first try. I then go back to that same yellow eco vent and start taking out all the lurkers and once I go across the room to the other vent I take out the last lurker and the power cell drops. I will go grab that later but first I need to make this really difficult roll jump and then I actually have to add a dive so I can get the crystal at the very bottom. Dive is actually X but since I have it on scroll up I can't hold that so I add it as a triple click on the mouse wheel. I quickly go down, I touch the crystal and I come back up before it kills me. I then hit into the dark spider cave, which you have to hit these crystals to light up, and it was going perfectly until the very last jump. Now usually I do a crouch jump up before these platforms give out, but with these controls that's extremely fucking difficult. So after dying a couple times and even trying to cheese it one time, I just make a regular jump and he actually grabs the ledge gets up there and we grab the power cell with no issue. I then grab the power cell that the gnawing lurker dropped. I went up to the top of the map and grabbed that power cell and I destroyed the last eco crystal which gave me another power cell. We have our first meeting with this prick of an enemy and he drops me in the dark eco but this map is so fucked it actually teleports me forward. So after that happens I head inside the spider nest. I do grab the power cell but I don't launch myself up using the blue eco and that is a huge mistake for later. I start climbing up the scaffolding and this scaffolding alone is why I hate this map so much. It has four different levels that are mazes, that's annoying as fuck to traverse, the elevators make no fucking sense, it drops you constantly, it takes over your camera, and it's just a 
general pain in the fucking ass. It just sucks. I hate it. Literally in the 10 minutes it took me to get up to the power cell, nothing important happened. It's just a bunch of eggs, dealing with a bunch of drops, and dealing with annoying fucking enemies. It's the worst part in this fucking game. But like I said, after 10 minutes we get up to the power cell and we're done with this shitty fucking part of the game. I then accidentally dropped myself into the void once because I mistimed the swing and the second time was because I was making a left jump. But for the third time, the left jump actually worked and I was able to activate the platform and get up to the power cell. Now this is usually where I say that we're done with the map and we can get the fuck out of here, but I'm missing one scout fly and some eggs. Now the eggs, like I said earlier, I just need to use the jump pad and I get all the eggs. The scout fly is another fucking issue. I searched for that motherfucker for 30 minutes before I'm just like, fuck this. I hate this map. I don't want to keep looking around in it. And I just looked it up. Would you guess where the fucking scout fly is? Yep. It is on the scaffolding at the very top. Remember how I said it's an annoying fucking maze that keeps fucking dropping as a pain in the ass to find anything? Yeah, this is why I hate this fucking map. But fuck it, we're done with this fucking shitty map. I can go back to the volcanic crater. I can finish up with the eggs, grab the last scout fly, and grab the last power cell from the miners. We then have the final zoom area, and just like normal, I kill myself a lot, but just to make sure I grab everything. And actually, something that super surprised me in this is there's only eggs at the first third of the map. The rest of the map is only a few scout flies and just get to the end. Now, with that being said, the rest of the map was actually pretty easy, except these fucking jumps. These jumps were impossible to control the zoomer on, and it would just throw me off constantly. It felt like I was keyboard driving, honestly, that's how bad it felt. Even with two-handing the mouse that has better controls than normal, it still felt like shit. After I get dropped a lot of times in lava, I grab the final scout fly area, and I grab the final power cell when we get to the end. Once we activate the Red Sage's portal, we learn that the Green Sage has been kidnapped, and it's time to fight through the Citadel to get them all freed. The Yellow Sage is the easiest one to free, because all you need to do is jump on these jump pads, get to the end, open up his cage, and that's it. He's the easiest one of all of these. Now the Blue Sage. Oh boy. <laughs> this part of the map had me worried while I was entering the Citadel. And uh, yeah, yeah. I was right. <laughs> At this point, you should probably guess what the challenge is, but it's a left jump on a spinning platform with the camera locked into one place and I can't see the platform. Also, on top of all that, the exact time that the platform is in place for me to jump, the platform moves, so I go to jump and it just throws me off to the side. This this was my life for about 15 minutes before I literally had to develop speedrun level strategies to get past this shit. Alright, I started off by just seeing if I could just jump directly to the platform and I was way too far so that wasn't going to happen. So, <laughs> oh my god, I literally had to de develop speedrun level strategies to get past this shit. This is dumb. This is the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> now the strategy is to jump on this platform for only a millisecond so the game can't take over the camera in time. I jump over to the next one, I hopefully grab it, and then we're good to go. It has been about 20 minutes since I started this part. Just that alone took me 20 minutes. Oh, and then on the second jump, I fuck it up anyway. After another three minutes of trying, I finally get on the second platform and we're starting to finally make some progress. At this point, I was really fucking nervous I wasn't going to make these jumps because I did not want to do it again. I just got extremely fucking lucky, made all the jumps, and got to the blue sage finally after like 30 fucking minutes. But at this point, after getting through that shit, I think we're good for the rest of the game. <laughs> The red sage was a piece of cake compared to the fucking blue sage. All I have to do is just murder some more bunnies and then we free him. Getting up to the green sage was actually not too bad. The only difficult part was here where I kept bumping my head and I couldn't get up to the third platform. But once I actually passed that, I climb to the very top. I get the last scout fly, which I was very worried about after the fucking spider cave fiasco. I then grab the final egg and the final power cell of the game. All that's left now is the final boss fight. And to be honest, the fight in general is not too bad. The second phase of the fight is bad. The second phase is a glorified third ambush, but this time the arena is much smaller, you can't melee the enemies at all, you have to use the yellow eco to attack them, the camera is stuck in the middle, so good fucking luck moving around, the enemies can land on top of you, and there's a fucking giant hole in the middle that you can fall down. The biggest issue with all this was the fucking controls, because you constantly had to be switching between going up, to going left, to going right, to going down, 
all at the same time remembering, oh, hope you remember the right one, because if not, you're either dropping in the fucking hole or you're dropping off the side. I thought, I thought the best solution was to switch controls to something that made a little bit more fucking sense. I tried that shit for one round, and then I thought, you idiot, you've been using these same controls for the past 10 fucking hours. How the hell do you think you're going to remember a new control scheme while fighting the fucking final boss? So I just switched back to the normal controls with a bit of modification to actually beat this fucking boss. With that being said, I still had the same fucking issue. I still couldn't get past phase two. After 25 minutes of trying different shit in this fucking boss fight, I discovered it's just RNG. It is 100% RNG if you can get fucking past this. You basically just have to run around the map, hope you get enough yellow eco, Hope that they all spawn in front of you and hope that the fucking auto tracker kills them before you get there. Now, if they spawn to the side or if they spawn behind you or if all three of them spawn behind you, you're fucked because you do not have enough time to turn around and actually hit them before they either hit you, knock your ass off the side of the edge or knock your ass into the dark eco. By the time I finally got past that, the third phase I first tried and then I walked off the edge because of the controls. So we're starting over again. The next time I got to the third phase, I just couldn't make the fucking jumps. So once again, we're resetting. Almost 10 minutes later, and then I get to the third phase again. This time, I actually make it onto the jump pad, get the fuck out of there, and we can start the fourth phase. The fourth phase was a piece of fucking cake. I didn't have to jump. I literally just had to press square and dodge once. That's all the four phase was it was super easy now to the final phase that i just had to get the white eco i was shitting myself at this point because i did not want to redo this at all i was waiting on this side hoping to god it would drop next to me nope it dropped on the fucking opposite side of the map and i was so afraid that I was either going to walk off or not make it in time and just blow myself the fuck up and have to start over I must have been like two seconds away from failing this, but luckily I get the fucking white eco and this goddamn game is done. I love this game and it's still one of my favorite fucking games, but this boss fight, oh, this boss fight really fucking took a lot out of me. <laughs> Like I just said, this is still one of my all-time favorite games and I definitely want to do more challenges in the future, but I do not recommend this challenge. It can be done and it can be 100%ed with this, but it is extremely dumb and it is extremely luck-based and difficult in some areas. With that being said, I still enjoyed this run and got to learn a lot of new things about the mechanics, about the locations, about the enemies, and about pretty much everything in this game. If you did enjoy me losing my shit over this crazy fucking challenge I just did, please go ahead and like and subscribe. It does help me out a lot. And if you have any other challenge ideas for me, please let them down in the comments. The first setup is pretty simple because I thought this is all I was going to need. And it's basically left click is going to be jump. Mm. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> The first setup is pretty simple. Right is for jump, left is for move forward, scroll up is for X, scroll down is for B, and clicking in the mouse wheel is the menu. And I'm simply just moving the camera around with the, you know, I don't know what that's called actually. Gyroscope, I guess? I don't know. The thing that moves in the middle. You can see it. You'll figure it out. Once I actually get to the top of the temple, it gets worse. Because the game, came, came, huh? Okay. Game? You know? Okay. And then I realized that I'm missing six precursor orbs, so I quickly go collect those, and the Forbidden Forest is done. Buck, it's jungle. It's not forest. Buck. <laughs> huh, I wonder if I said forest at the beginning, too. Well, shit, that's gonna stay. Fuck it. <laughs> I was then trying to jump up to that scout fly at the top so I didn't have to punch the wood from the bottom, but I don't think it was happening, so after I grieve... Grieve? <laughs> what am I grieving about? Oh, fuck, is Jack dead? Oh, shit. <laughs> I lose my mind. Now this fishing game requires the left and right and the way I have the controls set up the back was interfering with the right button or direction fuck Now the way this works you have to use the left and right to move the minette fuck the minette the minette now, huh? Okay Once again, I used the blue eco to collect all the bird all the birds fuck me <laughs> Once again, I used all the blue eco to collect the birds birds fuck I said it again <laughs> Activate the blue sages purtle purtle <laughs> fuck I do some quick gardening and then I miss and I fire and I miss and I fire and I miss and I fire and I fire and I miss. <laughs> I'm, probably not gonna, I'm probably just going to use the clip, but I think that's so funny. <laughs> I also talked to the gambler about beating the record for the race and I get his power salt and then we hit uh, fuck. So 
So when I get to the very top, I get my last egg. And when I launch myself up, I get the last precursor orb of this place. Power cell. Buck. So I destroy some th some tethers. Fuck. <laughs> why are they called snow buddies? Like why? This sounds so bad, man. <laughs> like the fuck? Oh, fuck. With the power cell connected, the Elo. Elo? <laughs> Elo, okay. Fucking fuckface over here, fucking pillow bullshit. <laughs> we then have our first meeting with this prick of an enemy, and he drops me in the dark Ebo. Ebo? <laughs> fuck. The red sage level is a piece of cake compared to the blue sage level. I just have to mortar. <laughs> mortar? Fuck. Well, I mean, yeah, technically. <laughs> if you want to see those as a mortar, yeah. <laughs> Like I said at the beginning, I did want to do a small explanation of how this all works. Of course, we start off with Open Gall to actually run the game in what is basically the remastered version of this game. To do this, you will need an ISO file of Jack and Daxter. Open Gall currently doesn't accept the mouse as a controller, so I had to use Rewazda, an Xbox One controller, and the mouse that I actually used. By grouping the Xbox One controller and the mouse, this created a virtual controller, which anytime I would right click, the computer would see it as an A click and actually jump the character. So this entire setup is how it all worked and how I actually got everything running. I also linked to all the videos that I used to actually set this up since I know my explanation probably isn't the best and isn't the most in-depth that I can give. 